Well, after going for a cruise last night with a buddy of mine, his vehicle made it home under its own power, mine did not. Um, basically what happened was, we were out for about two hours driving around, met up with a whole bunch of other, there was a, a cruise night nearby, saw about 200 other cars there, and everything was going good, we went out for a drive after, and then uh, pulled into a parking lot, and we lost all fuel pressure. And I'm not totally sure why yet, I'll show you here. When I key it on, you can hear the fuel pump priming, but I've only got two PSI right now. I don't know if you can see that. Might be hard to pick up on the camera, but I'll even prime it again. Still only two PSI. Now, we had suspected possibly maybe the um, regulator went for a crap so he actually had a tool kit with him my buddy did so we actually cranked up the the regulator more to see if we could at least build enough fuel pressure to get home and unfortunately it didn't do anything so then we thought maybe we're out of gas uh, maybe the the fuel gauge is reading incorrectly because it said I had a half a tank <coughs> So I used his truck, went down to a local gas station, bought a gas can, bought gas, put it in, didn't change anything. So now we're back to possibly, which I don't think, um, fuel filter might be plugged, but even if it's plugged, you'd still expect a little bit of pressure to get by. Um, or something has come apart in the tank. Now you can still hear the fuel, the fuel pump going, but it's not as loud as it used to be. So. I'm not quite sure what's happening there, but uh, my next thing to do right now is the fuel filters underneath the driver's door on the frame. I'm gonna pull that apart. We're gonna see what we have. All right, I pulled the fuel filter out and the filter itself looks mint. So I've got the hose coming from the tank into this gas can. I'm gonna prime it. We'll see if anything comes out. Nothing, not a drop. Okay, so it looks like I'm dropping the tank. Dave, before I drop the tank, I've got over half a tank of fuel in here and I wanna make it as light as possible. So I gotta siphon the fuel out and I've had a mouth of gas far too many times to wanna do it again. So I bought this little, it's called a jiggler hose, jiggler siphoning hose. I'm gonna see how that works. I'm sure that tastes better. All right, I've never used one of these jiggler siphon hoses before, but I don't think they're that complicated. You just shove the end in the tank. Okay, I got the end in the tank. You can hear it in there. Scratching around. And I guess all we do is stick this end in there. And I guess we just shake it around and it's supposed to start pushing the fuel up. You can really hear it siphoning now. The little, there's a marble in the end of that uh, brass piece and it's just whipping around as the fuel's coming out. Like this is a three quarter inch hose, so it's moving quite a bit of fuel. Cool. All right, I got the tank dropped out of it and over here on my tailgate. I already pulled the bolts out, so we will see if we have anything that's obviously wrong. <laughs> there is something obviously wrong. That fuel pump's not attached anymore. That's the return line. There's the feed. There's my pump sitting down in there. Okay, I'm going to try and uh, get my pump out. All right, so here's where we're at. What I think happened was 
this clamp just didn't hold and it fell off. It fell off the barb. Like the zip ties are still on it. I had the zip ties around here just to keep the pump from flopping around. But ultimately that clamp, even if these things let go or whatever, that clamp should have held it on this, this barb. Like gear clamps suck. And these are the clamps that came with the pump. So I'm gonna pull those off and I've got some, some better fuel line clamps that I'm gonna put on. I'm gonna put some new zip ties on, drop it back in the tank, and we will try this all again. All right, the unit's all back together. Time to put it back in the tank and see if she works. All right, tank is back in. Now for the moment of truth. I did crank my regulator back down a bit. I will have to fine tune it here. We want to get back to about 45 pounds. But let's see if we can make more than two pounds. I see 28. We'll prime it again. Well, we're at 30. I might have to turn it back up. I might turn it out too much. So we just come back over here. And I did something I didn't want to do. You may have noticed I had to put hood pins in it. So I had to drill into my nice new hood. I really didn't want to do it, but safety first, I feel. I didn't trust the factory latch very much. Says we got 30 pounds there. We're aiming for 45. Well, 40. Well, it says we're currently at 52, but by this gauge, this gauge was sitting at 45, so I think I'm just going to leave it there. But, I mean, that's great news. Easy fix, relatively easy fix. Just had to pull the tank, but nothing was broken. So it's nice when you can fix it without having to spend any money. Um, I guess I'm going to take it for a drive. <laughs> Make sure everything is good and that it does stay together. So uh, let's hit the road. Well, everything seems to be just fine. We're cruising along, it's at 50 pounds, and uh, she's still stout. And I lay in there as she goes.
So, I mean, at least it was an easy fix, relatively. What sucks, it was a stupid little cheap part that caused it all. Don't cheap out, I guess. Stupid little parts. But, at least she's not hurt. Later, guys.